Slap my knee and call me a leprechaun because the largest U.S. pension fund bought AMC, GameStop, and Berkshire Hathaway stock. Here's what it sold. Now, if you guys are like, you've already talked about this. Yes, I mentioned this in the first video today, but I think this highlights something much deeper than just a 30-minute segment in one video that I do want to talk about. We're also going to take a look at the 13F filings that are still coming out for AMC stock and then talk about Uncharted as well and i think this all comes back to the same thing and highlights the same point here that if amc was such a bad investment why would the largest u.s pension fund which is supposed to be investing in more safe assets because after all it is a pension fund quadrupled their amc position Gotta scratch my head for that one. Maybe call me a leprechaun on that note. But let's dive into this video. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and comment down below. If we can get this video to a thousand likes, I will do what Edward Morgan suggested in the last video or the first video today to buy a full leprechaun suit because we got to turn it up a notch. We need to get luckier in the building to see some good luck for AMC stock. So if we get to a thousand likes, I will do that. I have very low expectations because uh, we usually don't even come close to that. So not really expecting to, I hope to. So hit the like button for me. If you guys want access to all my trades in real time, link down below in the description for this video, as well as in the pinned comment down below. Also in the description, all of the links for free stock your heart could ever desire in a very turbulent red market get yourself some free money with weeble moomoo and public let's dive into this video without any further ado so the largest u.s pension fund bought amc and gamestop and berkshire hathaway stock here's what it sold so the largest public pension in America recently loaded up on some volatile stocks, invested more in Warren Buffett's firm, and trimmed a position in a slipping software stock. In the fourth quarter, California Public Employees Retirement System more than quadrupled investments in AMC Entertainment and GameStop. Whoa there, cowboy. Quadrupled? That's 4X, right? That's 4X, right? That's crazy. And to... You know, to see everybody so bearish on AMC, but a fucking pension fund just uh, quadrupled their investment. Yeah, that's not getting talked about all too often. It says two high profile meme stocks, literally in quotes, meme stocks, and dramatically lifted its holdings in Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett's investment firm, and probably the polar opposite of a meme stock. CalPERS, as the pension fund is known, also sliced off nearly 11% from its stake in Palantir Technologies, a provider of data analytics software. Now, I do like Palantir as well, but I think that highlights the potential that AMC and GameStop have. They are quadrupling their position. They're selling out of Palantir as well as other stocks. So I think it goes to show uh, and, and proves the point that I have been uh, nailing home that AMC is actually a value buy at this current moment. When there's times of fear, uncertainty, doubt in the marketplace, the first thing people do is go to sell. Whether that is retail investors, well, whether that is institutional investors, they sell, they short. That's what they do. And that is what has been plaguing AMC as far as really, you know, the last two, three months or so. So, Let's dive into a little bit more of what this says. So it says the pension disclosed the trades, among others, in a form it filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission. CalPERS declined to comment on the investment exchanges. It manages $480 billion in assets, more than any other public pension in the U.S. So very interesting here. But it says CalPERS is below average by one important uh, measure. In its latest uh, actual annual report showed its fund ratio stood at 70.6% as of June 30th, 2020, meaning it had 70.6 cents on hand for every dollar of obligation. A study by the Pew Charitable Trust found the average state pension had a uh, funded ratio of 71.3% using 2019 data. CalPERS fund ratio was little changed from 70.2% in both 2019, 2018, and 70.1% in 2017. So think about what this actually means, right? It said it, sh it, it it's, uh, showed its funded ratio stood at 70.6% as of June 30th, 2020, meaning it had 70.6 cents on hand for every dollar of obligation. So they uh, they're not as margined up. They're not as indebted as uh, some other firms 
are. And that means obviously they are uh, not taking as much risk. But it says the pension bought 503,000 more AMC shares in the fourth quarter to lift its stake to 619,000 shares. So they own roughly 115,000 shares of AMC before this. Now they own almost 620 thousand shares of the movie theater chain. AMC stock rocketed nearly 13 times in price in 2021, while the S&P 500 index managed to rise 27% uh, percent by comparison. So far in 2022, shares are down 34%, while the index has slipped 9%. Imagine the rebound that we see throughout the rest of this year. Through all of this fear, uncertainty, and doubt, the multiple compressions that we are seeing, AMC is still sitting at about $16 per share. I can only imagine where it's going to be by the end of the year. So very, very encouraging. And I think this highlights a lot. The fact that pension fund quadrupled their investment. These hedge funds can't tell me shit about AMC. And I hope they don't influence you as well. Uh, only let yourself influence you because you are your own financial advisor if you do not have one. So this is not financial advice. Let me uh, go on the record saying that. But you come to your own conclusions. I think if you're watching this video, you are pretty bullish on AMC. If you're not, let me know in the comment section as well. But um, I think you're going to get rewarded. And that's only my opinion. And that's why I do have so much money invested in AMC. But as well as that, this goes to show as well, the movie theater industry is far from dead. Sony chief Tom Rothman celebrates new hit movie franchise as Uncharted hits box office milestone. Now to save you guys some of the talk here, uh. Tom Rothman says that he thinks Uncharted could be the next big uh, movie hit line, right? Something like a Spider-Man, something like an Avatar, something like, you know, these hit movies that come out, Jurassic, Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, whatever you want to call them, you know, along those lines of big movie hits, and they do expect a sequel here in the next couple of years. But it says that uh, Uncharted, was supposed to do 30 million over four days at the domestic box office. It wound up doing 51 million, sending its current worldwide stake to $139 million. So better than what they expected. So I think that's a sign of what is to come for the rest of the year with all of these insane movies that are hitting the theaters it's going to be a very good year for amc and coming on march 1st i think we're going to get some good guidance and that could definitely send amc stock through the roof at a time where the markets are down quite substantially and liquidity is starting to be restricted not going to go out there and say that's going to cause them less but it could give us a net the next decent leg up. You guys got to remember, it has nothing to do with what AMC stock does. It has everything to do with the liquidity positions of hedge funds. When the markets are hitting all-time highs, liquidity is at all-time highs. When they are going down and they're 9% off just from the start of the year, if you take into consideration all of that leverage, they're really down more than 9% overall. So when you get big catalysts that send stocks up, the smaller guys start to cover, mid guys start to cover, and then the large guys. So we've never seen a short squeeze in AMC stock simply because every time AMC has squeezed, the markets have been, well, squeezed. It was really FOMO buying an option, you know, activity, small shorts covering. But every time that has happened in 2021, the markets were at all time highs. Now it's a little bit different. So keep that in mind. Not something I would bag on here, not saying to YOLO, but it could be very good. And let's go ahead and take a look at the 13 and filings. And what do you notice about this? Lots of green across the board, as well as that, even the white can be firms that are loading up on new positions or even selling out. So let's take a look at what is going on. An increase of 25%, decrease 14%, decrease of 1.27%, an increase of 57%, uh, percent, an increase of 11%, decrease of 97%, but they only have 300 shares to begin with, so not a huge investment. Increase of 103% from Goldman Sachs. They have bought over 1.1 million shares of AMC in the last quarter. Some minimal, uh, you know, changes, decreases right there, increase right there. 80% increase to advanced series trust AST small cap value portfolio. A value portfolio 
Come on now, exactly what I've been slap my knee, man. Exactly what I've been saying. I hope you guys are getting a little bit excited. JP Morgan, small cap core equity portfolio class one, increased their position by 129%, almost 130%. Another increase of 22%, and a brand new position right here of about 39,000 shares. Brand new position right there of about 24,000 shares. Brand new position right there by Goldman Sachs as well of 101,000 shares so it's starting to look very very bullish on the 13 uh, filings even douche bank douche bank uh increase of about 11 percent another you know 56 percent increase right there another uh look at that jane street group 837 percent increase now they own 2.1 million shares so they what own like 400,000 shares uh so they've increased like 1.6 million shares in the last uh quarter I would say that's a bullish sign. I would say people that tell you otherwise are bullshit and that people want you to sell out now, which by all means, feel free to do what you guys want to do. Even the National Pension Service, 841,000 shares right there. Give me a break. People want to say in the comment section, you know, sell out now, save yourself the pain. You've already felt the pain. Sorry to say it, but AMC is not just a short squeeze trade. At this point, you're buying the company behind it as well. You're not really paying much premium or any premium at all on top of the fundamental value of the shares. So by all means, feel free to sell out if you guys want to, but you are selling out at the fundamental valuation. You are selling out at the bottom. If you did want to sell, uh, that moment was long gone. So I am in here like swimwear and I'm not a big fan of trying to time AMC because we all know we could wake up one day and we're up 20, 30%. If you sold out the day before, imagine how you're going to feel about yourself. Uh, that next following day so i'm not a fan of that i do like to add to my position so that's what i want to do as well as i might look at buying some leaps on amc if we do stay down at these depressed levels for a while and we do start to see some of that implied volatility heading down and we can get some cheaper prices on those like i said if you guys want access to all of my trades in real time link down below in the pinned comment to do so for that like the video if you guys want to see me in a leprechaun suit maybe it'll bring some good luck to amc maybe it won't who knows leprechaun hat Looking good the second half of the day today. As well as all of that, get yourself some free stocks, some free money using Weeble, Moomoo, and Public. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.